Hi everyone, this is Ellie from GF Export TV and in these tutorials, I'll be teaching you how to use Photoshop in few minutes. Yes, in few minutes. So in case you are an absolute beginner, then you are at the right place. All right, so let's quickly dive into it. So the first thing we would like to do is to launch our Photoshop software which I've already done here. So in case you've not done that, you can do that and follow along with the tutorials. And what we'll need to do is to set up a new document. So in order to set up a new document, you come to create a new. And then you enter your document name over here. Enter your document name over here. Then you key in your project parameters like the width and height. And then the resolution so once you are done and you are satisfied with your settings you can simply click on ok in order to take us into the photoshop window right so as you can see the canvas that we have set is already here based on our document settings right so let me quickly take you guys through some few steps so in order to make your background or your layer editable so that you can be able to manipulate it more all you need to do is to go to the layer panel make sure the layer is selected which is this very layer and then you double click on it you can choose to rename it if you like yes or you can still choose to rename it over here by double clicking and rename your layer so i want to name this bg background now if you would like to import an image into photoshop what you need to do is you need to go to file menu and then select place embedded and then click on it and click on place right so we have successfully imported our photo into the photoshop canvas so now let me take you guys through some shortcut keys that would help you in the course of your project work in photoshop so the first one i would like to take is uh, zoom so zoom in and zoom out on your keyboard you press ctrl plus or command plus in case you are using a Mac and then to zoom out control minus or command minus so that will zoom in and zoom out your project for you and now if you want to create duplicates of your layer all you need to do is you can use the shortcut key control J so by selecting your layer let me select the photo layer and then you simply press ctrl j on your keyboard so that will give you duplicates or duplicates of that very layer right so if you want to group your layers you highlight all your layers and then press ctrl g so if we click on this little arrow over here it's going to give us a drop down where you will see the layers that you have grouped or under this very group you can choose to rename the group by double clicking on the group name or the layer name so you can choose to rename the group by double clicking on the group name and then giving it your own name as you wish. So the next shortcut key I would like to teach you guys is scaling. So if you want to scale your object, make sure the object layer is selected from your layer panel. And then you hold down the shift and alt key and then you click and drag from any of the edges. So that will scale it from the center for you. Or alternatively you can simply hold down just the shift key and then click and drag from any of the edges so that is how you can scale your object in Photoshop so if you like to display grid whilst working you can simply use this shortcut key which is control and then apostrophe so that will display a grid for you control key and then apostrophe or command and then apostrophe so that will display a grid for you so if you like to use the text tool on your keyboard you can simply press t and that will activate the text tool for you so click on any part of your photoshop canvas and type your text let me expand this so that it can be more visible right so that's it so if you like to edit on what you have already typed you can just double click on the text itself and then it will be editable for you to I mean retype your text or you can simply come here to the text tool and then click in between your text and 
you can have it editable so let me take you guys through some color correction functions so if you want to have access to color correction functions in adobe photoshop um, you can look right here i have mine turned on already which is the adjustment panel or in case it's not displayed for you and you would like to enable it you can simply go to window and then you make sure adjustment is checked as you can see we have brightness through contrast levels curves exposure vibrance etc so assuming we want to add some blur effects to this very um, image we have here make sure the image layer is selected from the layer panel and then we go to filter go to blur and then you can apply any of the blur effects you want for now let's use gaussian blur so try playing with the reduce parameters to get your desired results so once that is okay for you you can simply click on okay and it's been activated you can simply click on okay right so that is how you can add blur to your image so let me teach you guys another color correction function which is called curves so curves are normally used to modify the tonal range of your image it gives you a more control over your shadows highlights and midtones so those are what curves are useful so I assuming I want to modify my tonal range for this particular image over here um, I need to make sure my image is selected from the layer panel so in order to access the curve dialog box on your keyboard press ctrl m and that displays the curve dialog box for you so try playing with the lines you know the more you decrease it the um, deeper the tone and then the more you increase it or it goes up the tone increases yeah the tone becomes brighter so that is what the curves is being used for so you can choose to work on individual colors like red green and blue channels and tweak it so that is what curves is useful so if you would want to apply hue and saturation to your image what you need to do is on your keyboard go to control u control u gives you the hue saturation dialog box so now let's play along with some of the parameters so for hue this will display different color shades for you as you can see here different color shades the saturation you can choose to tone down the color dominance in your image or you can choose to increase the color dominance in your image with the saturation uh, parameter so for lightness as the name implies you can use it to lighten your image and you can use it to darken your image all right so that's that for hue saturation so the next thing i would like to introduce you guys to is layer styles so in case you want to apply some stroke some gradient some bevel effect to your image etc photoshop has got that function so in order to apply a layer style to our layer we must make sure that the layer is selected the layer we want to use is selected so select the layer you want to apply the layer style to and then simply come here and click on effects so it gives you the various layer style options as you can see bevel and emboss stroke inner shadow inner glow um, color overlay gradient overlay etc so another option to have access to this is you can simply double click so once you double click it will open up the layer style panel for you with um, the layer effects so let me select stroke for example um, it's not that visible so i need to increase my stroke so i need to play with let's play with the parameters a bit so click on stroke and then let me increase the size so as you can see it's applying to our text right there yes so you can choose to increase and decrease the size and then the opacity so you can choose to control how dominant you want this to be so if you want to fade it out a bit you can do that right here so just play along with some of the parameters for lay for layer styles and 
and see what you can achieve with it so that's that for layer styles then another thing is if you want to apply a color to a layer in photoshop you need to make sure that the layer is selected so in my case here let me select the background layer to use for this experiment so you make sure the layer is selected and then you come to the color panel over here and then select the color you need so this will give you different shades of colors so just play around it so let me select a color to apply to my background so let me go in for this so in order to apply the color you can use the after selecting it use the shortcut key alt backspace and then that color is being applied to your layer okay right so assuming i want to apply another color to my text too i make sure my text is selected and then i go in for the desired color i would want to use for my text so once it's selected alt backspace and that is it we have successfully applied color to our text also so you can use this method to apply color to your layer or any object in your photoshop canvas so we have successfully come to our end of this brief photoshop introduction so this can get you started with your graphics career in adobe photoshop if you might like me to do videos on specific um, topics feel free to respond under the comment section of this video if you have a question or series of questions to ask regarding this very tutorial feel free to let it out under the comment section and i will respond to your comments as soon as i can if this is your first time on my channel or you are a returning viewer on this channel please kindly subscribe to my channel for more informative contents in graphic design not only in adobe photoshop i'll be bringing you tutorials in other graphic design softwares also so feel free to check out my other videos on this channel i'm out